Hello YouTube and welcome to another tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to trust ESXi host SSL certificate. So are you ready? Let's get started. So here as you can see I have opened my Chrome browser in order to access the web GUI of my ESXi host. Okay. So I get this message. Your connection is not private. Okay, because simply the certificate is not trusted so if I click here on this icon here not secure you can see that the certificate is not valid okay so in this video I'm gonna show you how to make this certificate actually trusted for your Chrome browser so you can access this this site seamlessly okay so first thing first, let's proceed even if your connection is not private. So you have actually to click to advanced, then to proceed to the web GUI, okay? And then I will enter here my credentials in order to access the web GUI of my ESXi host, okay? So actually what we are gonna do is to enable SSH access, okay? So you go to actions, then services, then you enable SSH access. So here I already enable it. That's why he's offering me just how to disable it. But normally you will get here enable secure shell. Okay. So now that the SSH access is enabled, we can access actually our host using an SSH client. So I'll use here commander in order to access the the host. So I will connect using my credentials. Here we go. And here actually the process in order to trust the SSL certificate is to export it from the host to our browser, okay? So by default this certificate is actually located in this directory here slash etc slash vmware slash ssl okay and the name that we actually or the file that we have to export is this one certificate authority store that pem okay so in order to export it to our uh, actually desktop you have many tools you can use a copy in the command line or you can just download a free copy of win a copy which has a GUI interface that allows you to export this file to whatever location you want so let's use this win a copy in order to copy this file so I will open it you can find it free on the internet okay and let's uh, actually create new session. So here as the protocol, I will choose SFTP. Here I will enter the IP address of my ESXi host, which is that one, that one, that uh, 202, okay. And of course I have to provide the credentials here, okay. Okay, so now you can see that I have the full file system of my host here so i will go to the directory where i told you that uh, will be the certificate so it's on the etc directory here here we go vmware then inside the ssl actually folder okay so this is the file that we must export in our desktop okay so you can put it whatever you want so with me i will put it for example uh, in uh, in this directory here called miniature okay here we go so the file has been exported to my desktop so i will get rid of this when it's copy here we go so now we have to use mmc for microsoft in order to trust this certificate for our browser so you type or actually you hit the windows button then the r in order to get the run dialog box in your windows and you type here mmc okay so mmc actually stands for microsoft management console 
so I'll click yes here we go so this is the interface so we have to click on file then we have to add or remove snap in and of course here we are dealing with the certificate so the snap pin that I must choose is certificate so I'll click on it and I will add it here we go here the snap pin will always manage certificate for my user account service account so here I will choose computer account okay here we go so the snap pin will always manage local computer because I will be installing this certificate in this my local computer and I will hit finish okay so you can see now that the snap pin has been added to the local computer so here I will go to this folder here called the trusted root certificate authorities and inside it you will find actually another directory called certificate so all you have to do is to right click on it here we go all task then import and here this is just a wizard that you must follow so by default store location is local machine so I will choose next then here you have actually to browse to where you have put your .pem actually certificate so remember we put it in this folder called miniature and here of course you have to choose all files in order the file to appear so this is the one that you have to choose that we have actually exported so we open it here we go next place all certificate in the following store so we'll uh, place it by default in the trusted root certificate authorities and I will go next then finish so as you can see the import was successful okay here we go so now that certificate has been imported and actually put into the trusted root certificate authorities we can actually browse uh, in our Chrome browser and to see if we don't get any more the message the connection is not private so I'll get rid of this uh, console here I don't want to save it here we go so now let's open our browser so let me log off from this interface log out I will just open another uh, actually tab so sometimes you have to actually relaunch your uh, web browser so I will quit it and reload it okay now that I have reload my browser let's enter once again and here we go now you can see that I don't get any more the message the connection is not private because now as you can see with this padlock the certificate is actually valid Okay, and the connection is secure okay so we can log on without any problem to the web GUI of our ESXi host okay so as you can see now we are in so that was just a brief uh, video to show you how actually to trust the ESXi hot SSL certificate into the Google Chrome web browser. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.